1980s was an era of great musicians from Eddie Van Halen to Nirvana and turning these Freddie Mercury to grunge musicians like Pearl Jam and even Alice in Chains. But one band stood up for the rest, Jeff Lizards of the Lizards. His music was different for the rest of the collective of the 1980s. Tonight, we're looking back on Jeff Lizards of the Lizards here at Entertainment News Tonight. We all remember Jeff Lizard and his beloved rock band, Jeff Lizard. But what happened to Jeff Lizard? It seemed as though they fell off the face of the earth. Was it the 90s? Was it the grunge movement? Today, we're here to see what happened. Well, Mr. Lizard, it's a pleasure to have you here. It's been nearly 30 years since your last interview. What do you think about that? Well, it's been 30 fucking years. What do you think about it? Well, I think it's a pleasure to have you here, and I'm looking forward to this interview. All right, let's get this shit going. Why don't we talk about the latter half of your career? What exactly happened in the 90s? Well, Kurt Cobain fucking happened. That's where everything went wrong. Okay. So, what did you think of Nirvana and everything that they did to music? Uh, I thought it was great. Nothing like it. Mm -hmm. Well, we actually found a clip of you discovering Nirvana for the first time. And some things you said in it may contradict what you just told us. Let's, let's let the clip play. Look, Jeffy, we finally reached that, you know, shift in the musical industry where you kind of have to, you know, change the style up a bit, you know, for the new audience. Because, you know, they're, they're, not, they're not digging what we used to do in, like, you know, like the kids are digging this kind of stuff, you know. So this is what I want you to, you know, imitate, or not, not even imitate, just to get, get inspiration from, you know. What is this bullshit? What do you mean? What is this what is what, bullshit? What are you talking about? You know, this, this, this is rock. This, this is the style. This, this, is, this is what's trendy. Bitch. He's crying like a little bitch. What do you want me to tell you? This guy's Welcome making Welcome to the good old right 70s and 80s rock. The Rolling Stones, Black Sabbath, Jeff motherfucking Lizard. Look, where's that at? Look, this guy is trending. This guy. This music. This guy's making this is like everybody. This good old 70s, 80s rock. Jump around, you know? You, you, you think you're in the charts like you used to be? No. I'm oh. still here. I'm Jeff motherfucking Lizard. Honestly, don't care. Look at me. Skid Row. What a bago. Rocking shit. You know what? If anything, he's probably up there partying with Epstein and Clinton. We've all heard about the feuds and the many battles at the end of your band's career. Many speculations say that it was your fault. Well, today's the day you get to clear the air about that. What do you have to say about that? This is what I have to say. Don't believe in that Zionist devil media bullshit. Well... We actually got to have a sit down with your ex manager. Does the name Tony Silverstein ring a bell to you? Well, does a bear shin the woods? We'll just let the clip play. Well, thank you for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me. Of course. So, we both know why we're here. And um, I think we're just going to start off with discussing your relationship with Jeff Lizard. What, what was that like? Uh, well, like every professional relationship, you know, it started off with its pleasantries. You know, we were able to work with each other the first few years, but as I got to know the guy more and as we kept working with each other, you know, the guy, he's a controlling demon, you know, he's just, he has no control of himself whatsoever. And, you know, like, have I told you the story about the bar mitzvah? Has no, that ever reached the news? I have not. Would you mind sharing? All right, so I invite this guy to my uh, my, my uh, nephew Kyle's, like, uh, bar mitzvah, like, a few years back. And, you know, I, I can't find this guy anywhere. And, you know, and, uh, where, where, and my freaking, my Aunt Cheryl finds him in the freaking bathroom doing coke with his pants halfway down his legs. And I think, you know, what's this guy's problem? Mm -hmm. And so that that's similar to the story of the Grammys. <sighs> Would you mind going over that? Is this, the, the, like, okay, they're, they're looking for this guy. You know, they, they call his name up. And, and where is he? he? He's in the bathroom. Same thing, you know, with the with doing coke with his pianist. You know, and I'm just thinking. I'm just thinking. What the hell? What's the matter with this guy? Mm -hmm. yeah, so, but to be honest, the way that the way everything ended with that guy, it's completely his fault. Mm -hmm. Everything. You know, yeah. the guy. The guy was really just a train wreck. That's it. That's. I mean, honestly, you know, there's nothing else about him. So. What do you think about what Mr. Silverstein had to say about you? Honestly, don't care. In the end, we all walk our own paths. My band completely left me to dust. My 2B wife left me. All I had was rock and roll. 
I put all my heart and my soul to the very thing I love the most. But, but nobody will want to hear me from a fucking 80s rock star. Okay, um, we can, we can cut if you like. Get your soft ass off of me. Copy this. Bunch of bullshit. Challenge running, so speedy, sleep. Take two. Seventeen. Wait. Mm -hmm. right, We're scene, running. Scene seventeen. Take ten. Action. In the end, we all walked our own paths. My band completely left me to dust. My two B wife left me. All I had was rock and roll. I put all my heart and my soul to the very thing I love the most. Nobody will want to hear me from a fucking 80s rock star. Okay. Um, we can we can cut if you like. Get your soft ass off of me. Copy this. Shit. Shit. You're killing me with the sabotage of bullshit. <laughs>